Hello everyone, Second Later here. Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Who's that? New quest. New quest. Picture outfits that's currently locked. Work uh, my stash. Hunting goods which is also currently locked. A no machine strike. Locked path missing to needed. All right. Just okay. Hey, where's Petra? Yes. A complaint from uh, form smudged with ash and filled with angry glyphs. Javad, please help. The project is in question. Mained me. I filled out the required form below and still can't even get a refund from Dala and Boomer. I beg you, give me justice. Bang that guardsman. Product description. Bang Buster. I think. Boom Buster. Does it matter? I bought it three days ago. I know you remember me. Instant description. Again, I just told you. I was demonstrating uh, this launched out hammer to my fellow guardsman by slamming it on a piece of rock and instead of booming the rock it boomed towards me and now I don't have any eyebrows. Am I surprised? Am I sad? Nobody can tell since I no longer have eyebrows. So in case you weren't aware, let me tell you I'm very unhappy. <laughs> I want my shards back. Refund denied. Customer was made fully aware of the prototype's well, lap. What? Volatility. Ah, it's too early in the morning. Volatility at time of purchase proceeded proceeded with purchase regardless, pro proclaiming I am not a baby. Well, now you're well, now you're not a baby. Without any eyebrows. Who are you? Oh, Doug. Ovid, you're the one I need to talk to about something. Alright, you're a side quest, aren't you? Hey, Milda. Milda. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. I felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted. Some of your food? Of course. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, not trouble. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. That was a need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. 
Guess they like my food. More than ale. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But... But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. <laughs> oh, poor Mildiff. Just need to hunt for some wild meat and grab a metal panel from a scrounger pile. Ah, see? Preemptively collecting all those uh, plants helped went in my favour. Alright, so where did Petra go? No quest over there. Unknown at the back. Maybe that's Petra. Up there. Ooh. So down here I want. Oh, so wild meat in there as well. I didn't even have to hunt for it. Excellent. Herbalist. All right. That's not open to me currently. That's fine. It's a gladiator pet if I ever saw one. After all, eh? Here, sit down. Oh, why not? Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! <laughs> There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olvin grating the gears about his concession decree. Hey! Weapons off the table! <laughs> ah, don't listen to me. Nothing a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But I heard talk of some vanguards trying to take them down. Did they come through here? Stopped by briefly for supplies. 
Olvind was none too pleased. Won't be able to crank it to his advantage once the Bristlebacks are gone. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. So about Olvind? Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. I see. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osram municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the Magistrate will sign. I see. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, Flamehair. <laughs> Flamehair. A machine strike. Not right now. Alright. We've got some... Some of the down low from... Petra. Go to Eren's last known location. Yeah, we'll do that a bit. Let's see what these last quests are. We'll just add these to the list. Why would we let dangerous machines into our own land? You mean the land that honest Osram laborers work tirelessly with no say in its governance? The land that should you sign the decree... Oh, was, you a damned concession decree! ...would be managed by the people who actually live and work on it. I'll talk to you in a bit. I want to have a little... All right, nothing in here. What do you want, Olvind? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, 
The savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freehold, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not mm. so fast. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the magistrate. Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. He's definitely got showmanship, I'll give him that. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osram lives. Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? <laughs> it's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osram laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people, for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. If Chain Scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ah! The Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chainscrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder. And its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. Well, let's see. You said you founded Chainscrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in Baron Light's shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chain Scrape is what it is thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, mm -hmm. working Osram. Yeah, sure. Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks. And when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. <laughs> Let's see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. Yeah, he's probably in the tavern, but what's over here? and the others are doing better than I am. You're out there, buddy. What happened to you? That damn mine is what happened to me. 
It won't be the last injury if Olven keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels. What mine? Northeast of Chainscrape, where the river ends. I told Corvin we should stop when the first cave-in happened, but... <sighs> Olven probably threatened to cut off her pay. Or worse. How about you slow down and take me through it? You mentioned you were injured in a cave-in. Yeah, <clears throat> a couple days ago. That's how I hurt this blasted leg. <laughs> Corvin and the others were opening a new vein while I was checking on an older one. As soon as the blast hit, Tunnel I was in collapsed. Might have dodged it if I wasn't running on barely a spark of sleep. We were pushing too hard and too fast. And you're afraid Corvin and the others might not be as lucky if it happens again. Mm-hmm. Hit the nail right on the head. How come Olven's in charge? Don't these mines belong to the Karja? Try telling Olven that. He brought in all the backing to get them open. Might as well own them. <laughs> Fire and spit. You ask him. He owns us as well. Who's Corvind? He's our foreman, and a damn good one. The kind that knows how to deal with management when it gets unreasonable. But Olvind, <laughs> his demands go beyond unreasonable. Corvin's been doing his best to appease him. He even blamed himself for my injury when it was Olvin who ordered the extra shifts. Sounds like a good guy. That's why we all put up with the long hours and lousy conditions. But if the whole mine becomes unstable, I'd rather suffer Olvin's wrath than die buried in rubble. Wise choice. I could check in on your crew if I'm in the area. I would appreciate that. Thank you. All right. What's this? Uh, partially burnt front page of an illustrated pamphlet. It's hammering time. Oh no, whatever will the hammers of for hire do now that Gunnar has lost all their earnings? Devious dices. Another mercenary job, that's what. In this episode, our heroes delve deep into a mysterious tunnel at the edge of the claim, searching for the elderman's missing daughter. Inside, they'll find a machine that will give them the fight of their lives. Can they survive the drilling jaws of this ravenous giant? Will they save the missing maiden? Find out in the latest issues of Hammers for Hire, Name Takers and Rock Breakers. <laughs> I have come to take names and break rocks. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it as the original line. But it gets the job done. Oh, hi! Oh, hi. What? Yes, way, I'm just going to steal your stuff. All right, let's go find this Kaja priest. This is your stash. It can be found in every settlement as well as many other locations throughout the world. When you gather items beyond your carrying capacity, excess items will be sent to your stash. Nice. From here, you can retrieve items individually or restock all your resources by holding the square. By upgrading your pouches at the workbench, you can increase your carrying capacity. Oh, excellent. Okay, cool. That's better than not being able to pick up stuff all the time. Thank you for taking the time and 
My condolences that you had to endure all of us bloviating. I've dealt with worse. That sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's... It's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. I think Ovind. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. If you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. What is this concession decree that Olvent wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess. Because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the Bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King. And with the Bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvunt has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. E. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Ulvind blasting hot air all the time? Ulvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> well, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, maybe Ulvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. <laughs> Right, Javad the Willing. You Karja are a very imaginative, imaginative bunch when it comes to names. Right, so dash of covered, gather wild meat. Go to the scrounger site. Go to the mine. All right, so no, not that one. Turn you off. Ooh, fast travel, that's nice. Do I have skills to spend? I do. Base traps faster on the field? Yes. That will be useful. Must travel pack. Well, I don't have my fancy unlimited one anymore. Damn it. That made life so much easier.
All right, now we can really get into the meat and potatoes of this game. Purple. Why are you a purple beastie? There. That should be enough wild meat for Nordov. All right. Now to the scrounger site. Well, they take a while to. Uh, to craft Trying to avoid the machines. Ah, I'm not going to be able to avoid the machines. Noldov said I could find a metal panel in one of their scrap piles. Purple thing over there. See if this works. That was probably a mistake. Yeah, I know how to use rocks. Ah, not make any more bombs. Search this scrap pile. No metal panel. I will check another scrap pile. Thank you. 
Oh, God damn it. killed you before you landed that hit. Scroungers. Moldov said I could find a metal panel in one of their scrap piles. I've got to go through that again. <sighs> well, how far out do you go? That's what I'm going to have to do. Just going to have to try and... Be as sneaky as I can. No metal panel. I will check another scrap pile. You're right there. There we go. Hmm. This will keep. Right, and he's going to come round and he'll come up to this one where I can take him out all sneaky like. And it's just those two. That'll make life a lot easier. Didn't notice your dead friend? Alright, no worries. I think I have everything I need for Mildiv. There we go. I can use a decent meal.
right. Oh, of course the mine is in that direction. Thank you. You made that surprisingly easy for me. No. Hey, Lloyd. Okay, so you can't just climb any rocks. Smoke. Coming from where Arnav said I'd find his crew. Oh dear. What's gone down here, I wonder? Must be the mine Arnav told me about. It looks like the miners are in trouble. Stay with me. That looks like the foreman Arnif mentioned. Us out of this. <sighs> there you go. You good? I, I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin, Arnif sent me. I'm not, not now. Uh, uh, Easy. Whew. What happened? Explosion in the mine. Water flooded the whole place. I, some of my guys are still... They're still down there. I can't, can't stop. You've done enough. Are you hurt? I'm... I'll live. The others. Please. I need to know exactly what happened. We use controlled blasts to open up new veins in the mountain. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't. I have to go. How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh, two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. All right. Into the mine we go. Got to find those two miners quick.
Ah. That's useful. The miners. One of them doesn't look too good. Are you okay? Who are you? Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? My leg. I... I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel, but the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I... I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah. She'll still be some up top, but... You'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? You can't move. <laughs> and I'm not leaving you. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. Oh my bear. I need to find whatever's blocking that drainage shaft. And blow it sky high. Hopefully without bringing the mine down on top of me. What are those noises I'm hearing? Oh. <sighs> Made it. All right. There's the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives upon that track. Maybe I can blast with the blockage. Was it supply, cash? I wonder if I'll get like um, a breather or something to help me breathe underwater more easily. Oh, I'm not climbing up there. Ah. Here we go. Collision's a little off. Burrowers. Maybe I can swim past him last. Maybe. Oh God. All right, where am I actually going? Can't climb rocks. I 
I don't know if that's where I came through or not. Yeah, this is where I keep. God damn it. Ah, I see. Is going down that way gonna help? Don't seem to be any, any more that way. Where is that? Did I miss something? No, that's blocked. That's definitely blocked. Alright. Alright, so they can see you swimming on the surf on the surface. Yeah, I know oxygen's low. <sighs> missing tool, missing tool. Exit. It might be thick. Right, can I just climb up here? God damn it. Shooting nearby mushrooms will create temporary stealth. I'm gonna call them spores if I shoot that. Well, that wasn't too bad. I should follow those tracks. See if they lead to the explosives. All right. No 
claim you. Yes. Let's see where this leads. Treasures. Can I have those? No. It's not letting me collect any of these for some reason. There's the explosives up on the track. Just need to get across somehow. It looks like I can pull that crane over to me. There we go. Really quickly as well. I did the trick. Oh, guess that got its attention. Hey. Yes, there we go. Assholes. Well, let's go check on those miners. God damn it. All right, let me grab all these. Carry on putting them. She's so bad. We don't know that. Hey, boys. Looks like it. You did it. I thought you blew yourself up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. All right. I we'll have to come back here and ex come back here and explore this cave properly later. 
But this episode has already gone on for way longer than I intended, so let's go wrap these side quests up. Then we can call it an episode. I found the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvut, uh, he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I... I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvan can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. Excellent. Ulvan's name keeps coming up. And it's never good. Sooner or later, someone's gonna have to deal with him. Yeah. It's going one hundred percent going to be uh, us. Oh, okay. So that case now complete. Fair enough. All right, now let's. Yes, fast travel. I want my unlimited fast travel pack back. I paid a lot of money for that in the previous game. receive another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt. Instead of two. <laughs> uh, each journey begins with a single step, I guess. I think I have everything you asked for. Then just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. Wow. Mildef, that was inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. And your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again. It's the little things in life, Mildred. Remember that. All right. Mood provides temporary benefits and skill boosts. Mildred's meal has reduced your concentration recovery time. Bring ingredients to cooks throughout the world to purchase food. Only one food effect can be active at any time. Okay. Might be a good idea to stock up on some food before I head back out. And see what else Mildred's cooking up. Yeah, we can do that next time. How I have some skill points. Concentration. Yeah, let's get one of those in. Potent Medans. Yeah, heals faster. Let's definitely get one of those. Infiltrator. Silent Strike. Yes! And Machine Master. Mounted Defense. Take less damage while mounted. Of course. There we go. Special gear. Alright, and on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later, this has been Horizon Forbidden West, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.